Hi guys, today I'm going to show you this Rock and Roller dice roller I made. My inspiration was that last night I watched this Monopoly Millionaire show. There was this dice roller called the Rock and Roller. It had this thing on top that vibrates and then the dice rolls. So, in mine, this is green plate that rolls. See, so you can't tell stuff this. And the dice put on top, and then if you like playing Monopoly or a board game or something, this is a fun way to roll your dice. All you have to do is put your dice on here, turn on high mode or low mode, because there's just technical beams in there that turn in a specific way, and have little points on them, so you can roll your dice. It's really fun, and it detects some simple pieces. I think the hardest piece you can find is the motor, because they don't sell it in stores, you have to order it online. Now, I'm going to give it a test run. Good, test one works. Now, that's how you do it. So if you have two dice, you can work two dice or one dice. I have two dice right here. You can put it in any spot in it. Right now, the number is at 10. See? 10. Okay, now I'm going to turn it on. And if you like playing Monopoly or something, that if you turn it on, you can turn it on for like a few seconds or minutes if you want. And then when you stop and the dice is going to move around and like turn and stuff, that's how many numbers you roll. Okay, let's go on low mode first. So now, this is 9. And now we're doing high mode. High mode is going to make the dice go faster. That right there. Now it's on eight. Let's try what? One more time. Still on eight. Seven. So Rock and Roll is pretty cool. If you like the fast mode or the slow mode, you can comment below and see which one you like better. I personally like the fast mode because it makes it drop around a lot. And if you put an XL mode on here too, it'll work too. But it'll be more stronger. So it took me about 30 minutes to build. Now let's take a sneak peek in how it works inside this machine. First, let's play it to removable. You just move it, and then what you see is these three technical beams here that are lined together. Let me take the motor out so you can see it better. So it's kind of stuck in there, so let me take this wall out. But what you can see is three beams like that. And how it works is the screen plate is set on these one by two plates with these side rails on them, yes, and then it stands on it. It has one on this wall too, and then this thing wax it. So as you can see, high mode is at the light, and weak mode is right here. So high mode goes that way, weak mode goes that way. So on high mode, these bars hit, so it has more power. But in weak mode, this side hits it. So, it's a little weaker. So, that's all. It's pretty simple. See? Think complicated. I just put this gear here to support it. Also, if you want to know. So, I'm going to put it back. See how it lines with that top? That. And the window. Gone. So, you can see like that. And then you put it back on. And you also have this tiny dice. You can see here. It's really tiny. And so I'm going to put it in the middle. And now it's at four. Let's see how fast it moves in slow mode. OK. 
Okay, right now it's at five. Now, it's at five. There. Yeah. Now I'm going to put it in really high mode. So it's basically high mode again. It's on four. And it jumped out. And it's on one. Thanks for watching. And I hope you build one of your own. Subscribe for more videos or visit my website at legochest.com.